Hi, everyone. I want you to know that I've been scrolling through some of the comments that have shown up on the Kickstarter campaign page, um, and a lot of it is so heartwarming. You know, um, my family and I have taken great comfort in hearing from you, the fans, um, about um, how you feel about the loss of my dad. Not only did we lose a family member, but the community lost a great artist. This is, I think, the, one of the greatest aspects of going through crowdfunding is that so many of you in the community are participating in this project to help me make this movie a tribute to my dad. And so I wanted to read uh, some of these posts on here because I think a lot of them are really interesting and are, I, I think are, are touching and poignant and funny. Here's one from uh, April Pollent. It says, my husband and I met at a Star Trek fan club at Michigan State University. He told me of going to this thing called a convention and that he had met Leonard Nimoy at one of them and it cleared up his zits. Imagine that. That humor and love of Star Trek, wonderful combination. Here's from uh, Vince Gagliardi. Adam, after seeing this on Twitter, I do not think I ever spent $100 any quicker in my life. Thank you, Vince. One of the things that hit home to me occurred this past weekend when I showed my 10-year-old son an old episode of Star Trek, and he was, for the lack of a better term, fascinated with Mr. Spock. He obviously has good taste, so good luck with the project, and I cannot resist to say live long and prosper. P.S. I also can't wait to send in my photo of me with your dad. It was a great moment for me. Che and Chase Dustin, I am proud to be a part of this project by contributing. We had the pleasure to meet and dine with Mr. Nimoy and the lovely Susan Bay, my stepmother, during the Moscow showing of Voyage Home back in the 80s. Wonderful people consider me kicked. Oh, thank you so much, Shay and Chase. And, you know, we've been hearing from people all over the world, actually. It's so interesting, from uh, Gibraltar, from Germany, from, uh, from Japan, from Australia. It's just it's amazing how far-reaching Star Trek and Mr. Spock has had such impact. This is from Sabine. I had the wonderful pleasure of seeing your father on stage at a Star Trek convention in Germany. I grew up in East Germany, so watching Star Trek wasn't easy, but I never missed an episode on our walkie TV reception from the West. How interesting. Sabine, thank you. Wow. Here's one from Kelly. If everyone who loved Mr. Spock and loved and admired Mr. Nimoy would donate just $1, we could have this done by Shabbat. <laughs> I love that. I have forwarded the info on my social networks and encourage everyone else to do the same. Thank you so much, Kelly. I really appreciate that. Badger, what do you think? Here's one from Julia Castlin. My only encounter with your father was wonderful. My son and I attended the 2008 Star Trek convention in Las Vegas, and my then 10-year-old stood in line to ask your dad a question during the Q&A. It was kind of a long-winded question, and while he was asking, your dad had walked over to the side of the stage to be able to see Dylan, my son, and then paused with him for a moment to retrieve his chair, which he carried over the side of the stage so he could sit down for the rest of the question and his answer. It was very sweet and considerate, and he gave my son his full attention. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for posting that, Julia. So anyway, I, I love these stories, and you know we're going to actually uh, start a hashtag called Spock Stories. Please post on our social media. Look for it. Hashtag Spock Stories. Post anything you want to tell us about uh, your feelings about my dad or your experiences with him. If you want to post videos, short videos, please do so. I, we're going to look through all of them. Um, some of them I hope to include in the film or we'll post it on our website. And I really appreciate your continued interest in this uh, funding campaign. I need your help. I need your support. And live long and prosper. Thank you so much.